Happy New Year, folks. Happy New Year. So, this morning, I have to just drop some tools back off that I brought yesterday at the unit, and then we're gonna go somewhere. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Happy New Year. Today is task, turn the radio off, every time, every time. So today's task is to drop off the tools back at the unit which I brought up with me yesterday. And I've also purchased some new ones. So there's a company in the UK called Screwfix. They sell a pretty good selection of tools and whatnot. Um, power tools, hand tools, that kind of thing. And I've decided to make a purchase today. So when I left Idle Valley, I sold my shares in the pub for a very measly amount, but the but the pub is pretty much going bust now I've left. Now my beers have left. And uh, and with that money, I was going to use it to pay off some of the debts I'd run up in the interim. But I'm thinking if I just spend a little bit, like 3 or 400 pound on some new equipment, then at least it's an investment and hopefully it'll pay back in the long term and who knows with me doing this daily vlogging thing over the next couple of months if you're kind enough to click my adverts at the start of every video then maybe my AdSense revenue uh, might go to cover this purchase so I'm gonna pick up uh, one of the main things is a router an eBauer router half inch collet router 89 pound I think relatively cheap some router bits and a table saw to allow me to uh, crack on with quite a few of the projects that I've got and of course help with the refurbishment of the unit I could have actually done with it a couple of months ago but we've got Christmas out of the way now so I've decided that it's probably a good time to reinvest so let's go to workshop Okay, so like I've not got anything better to do, I've just driven all the way to work, so granted it's only 10 miles. That says to me that they're not open New Year's Day. So, I'm not a happy bunny. So we're not going to get our gifts today. It did say on the website, collect in one minute, and I checked that the days were open, uh, that the store was open today, and it said it was. Anyway, not one to be beaten down. Uh, I've come prepared. You might remember back in August, September time, a video where Tom came across to see me with Abby and we went uh, we went to a farm park, right? <laughs> well, that day was the first day that I'd started running again. I've just come back from a run and bloody Tom and Abby have arrived. I'm not showered yet. <laughs> this will make you laugh. I've just been for a run, so I need to have a shower. <laughs> uh, so, a New Year's resolution, if you like. Not that I'm one for them. Uh, but I really want to start running every day. So, I've set myself a target. If I do 14 miles every week, two miles a day. So, I'll take this opportunity to go for a running workshop. Why not? We just have to find somewhere to go. Well, I ended up sort of in the middle of nowhere, which wasn't something that I had planned. But here I am, so I'll quickly get changed. The day's not going to plan at all, is it, today? We are literally in the middle of nowhere, my duck. In the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to belt out a couple of miles, come back, and then shoot down to the unit. Right, have fun, youth. Oh my goodness. Two miles completed, madam. Workout paused. 
There we are. I'm about knackered. I'm not sure if uh, getting inside the car was such a good idea. Woo, two miles, baby. There we go. 20 minutes and 11. And it was pretty rough conditions out there. Pretty rough. Oh, this is some of the conditions, man. I thought I'd just show you underfoot. Jesus. Proper cross country of. I'm having to walk through lots of this. Maybe next time I'm not coming down here. Right, I need a shower, but I'll go to the unit first, I think. Well, I'm really thinking I should have run that track. Look at my boots. Absolutely acky. Acky black paint. So the tools are going to have to wait until tomorrow. I'm just going to unload all my clothing, get changed again out of these, and uh, maybe do some work here for half an hour. job I'll put my uh, work clothes back on fantastic Ooh, that's a bit warmer you should see the state of these shoes man look at this you see it why is it with this fucking white balance look at these babies hey definitely not the kind of weather to be running in so I guess I could utilise this bit of a balls up of a day to run you through what I'm using as a workshop at the minute until we get until we get the new equipment in, which is going to have to be tomorrow now. So for a table saw, I've actually got this. I'll show you from this angle. I've got this piece of uh, worktop here and I've cut a section out and you can fit blanks and stuff into it and on the bottom of this it's not so easy to lift it out one handed on the bottom of here is a, a circular saw so we've got a circular saw mounted underneath and when that's in position then it actually does work as a table saw there's no, there's, you can still control the depth as well because we've screwed the uh, we've screwed the base to the timber, so by just using the original depth settings that come with the saw, you can control the depth on it. And then I've got the blank over here, so when I want to use it just as a general worktop, this section takes its place. So we'll see. That we can lift this out. Oh, it's heavy. Just pop it on the floor for now. And then we have to remove the plug and everything. And then this temporary shelf section just slots in like that. And then you've got your worktop back. And then you can also mount. The plan was for me to mount my old my old Rockworth router in there but the problem with this router is it's got a quarter inch shank and if you can just see it's got a little bit of a bend the shank here it's just got a little little bit of a bend on it so it's not really ideal it wobbles everything wobbles a little bit and this is all there is to hold the plunger down which is not really very beefy and it 
it tends to rise as it's as it's working. Okay, I'm kind of getting the impression that today's video is becoming a little bit sketchy because we've had the setback thanks to Screwfix not being open on New Year's Day. Now, I'm not saying this should be open on New Year's Day, but if you're going to say on your website you're open on New Year's Day, you should be freaking open on New Year's Day, right? The time is now approaching 10 to 2, and on the 3rd of January, which is probably tomorrow, if you're watching this, yes, tomorrow, then I have to send back uh, some items that I've got which belong to Idle Valley Brewery. I've got a tank, some pumps, some pipe work, that kind of stuff. The liquidator wants to sell all the equipment to pay the creditors off. He needs all the equipment at the brewery. So tomorrow I've got a friend of mine delivering that and then I have to take all the paperwork and the accounts across to Sheffield to the liquidator's office where he's going to look through the paperwork and investigate the situation, make sure there was no wrongdoing. Uh, I'm confident he's not going to find any issues because I walked out of the company and they couldn't keep it going. So that's going to be tomorrow or the third, taken up all day with me running around and doing these things. So what I'm going to do today is make sure that I've got all of those assets at the front doors ready to load onto the van uh, when they go up around lunchtime. So let's, go, let's just do that. Let's do that for the day. <sighs> Bit out of breath. So it's been about three hours, maybe four, since I last picked you up. Which I'll do now. So I've moved absolutely tons of timber. All of this wood. You can see we've got all this timber running across here, absolutely loads of it. That's out the way. I've also got plywood, the back of the car over there. I've pushed pretty much everything to one side of the unit and then I've got together most of what is going back to the brewery. So over in this section we have uh, files to go to the liquidator's office, pumps, stainless steel, sight glass, a couple of transfer hoses, the microscope, all belongs to the brewery, got to go back, transfer pipes, that kind of stuff. And then on this side we've got two three-phase heating elements, the big transfer pump that costs £500 on its own, uh, hose, sorry, transfer hose. And then we've got this pump here, that's the boil pump. That was the CIP pump. We've got some mouldy hops there, they can have them, they can do what they want, they can fucking put them in the pipe and smoke them. Then there's this three phase transfer pump, never really had any grunt. There is the um, refractometer, which also was a little bit dodgy, so I'm not, I'm not sorry to lose that. And then there's this tank which uh, I never used either. It'd be nice to keep it, that would make a nice boil tank for uh, for the new brewery, but hey hell. So I think I've been a good, uh, I think I've been a good lad today. And it is New Year's Day after all, so I'm gonna treat myself, I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's been a sketchy one, day two, and it's already fallen apart. What do you do? So anyway, I'm gonna end it here and I've had a phone call off Craig, Steve, Nicky, Pete, Nick and Josh down at the other pub called Beerheads, which you all know. And because the brew shed is closed today, I'm going to go and surprise them. They've invited me for a drink. I said, I can't, I'm working. But I'm going to go and surprise them and have a drink and wish them all Happy New Year. So we'll see you tomorrow. A bit of a postscript here, folks. I have literally just got home, uh, just had a couple of pints, that's all, honestly. And I'm in the process of editing the video, and I must say, having looked at the response from yesterday's vlog, uh, almost 300 views uh, within like the first, well, what time is it? 12 hours of it being posted. That's very good, very good. And lots and lots of comments. 
I'm inspired. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna keep this going. My only allowed it to pick it up.